it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded anything on my YouTube channel, and uh, I, I kind of like to get back to doing that. So I figured, um, what better way to do that than to show off my collection of uh, NASCAR diecasts? And uh, I got a pretty good, pretty good sized collection. So um, this could be a pretty long video depending on how long I decide to take on talking about specific diecasts that I have. I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take too much time talking about, about the stuff though, because uh, I do want to get on to other things today. So with that, let's get to looking. I'm going to start out with um, some of the, uh, I have a, f a few 24 scale die cast that I already have sitting out. Um, and uh, I'm going to look at these. Then I'm going to look go through all these uh, 64 scale, and there's even some smaller ones than that that I have um, to look through. And then uh, underneath all of these 64 scales, I got a few more 24 scales. Um, three of them are, ra are race wind die casts. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right. First of all, we have a Robbie Gordon, um, number seven. It's a, it's a 2006, I believe, from uh, Robbie Gordon Motorsports. Uh, Robbie Gordon, he's not one of my most favorite drivers, but he's still, I mean, he's all, he's a, he's still a good driver, um, for the most part. Uh, he, he was pretty much only good at road course races, but he did get a win at New Hampshire, so that says something about his talent, I guess, and he's, he does pretty good in the, in the trucks. And then here's uh, Daryl Waltrip. Uh, he came out of retirement to run a race for uh, Michael Waltrip Racing and the Aaron's Dream Machine back in 2006. Whenever they, whenever the Bush Series still ran uh, Martinsville, I haven't actually ever taken these two out of the box before but these are definitely interesting I don't usually collect uh, Robbie Gordon now here is a driver who obviously I mean if you look at my my uh, YouTube channel name you will probably um, be able to tell that I that a lot of the Diecast you'll be seeing in this video are Casey Kane cars, and this one is from the 50th running of the Daytona 500, the uh, 2008 se uh, season. Casey Kane ran uh, ran this car in the Daytona 500. Obviously, it's without the Budweiser sponsorship on it, but because. Um, Winter Circle couldn't use uh, use alcohol sponsors. And that was the first. Uh, and this one is also um, from the 2008 season. He went on to win the All-Star Race and two points-paying races in 2008. So that was a pretty good season for him, even though he didn't make the chase that year, which was very very disappointing and a uh, couple of non die cast items I have here a, a Sprint Cup Series hat I actually took this up to the Chili Bowl I didn't actually get to go watch the race or anything but I went up to I went up to go look around up there um, earlier this past year and um, I uh, went over to the uh, 
to the, uh, I can't even remember. It's a, or it was the organ donor, um, booth that they had up there and Kyle Larson, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And, uh, Brady Bacon, um, were up there signing autographs and, uh, you had to be a organ donor to, to get an autograph, which I was fine with that. So I signed up for that and then, uh, got to meet, got to actually get up close and get an autograph from Ricky Stenhouse and, uh, Kyle Larson. So that was pretty cool. Um, and Brady Bacon as well. Don't really follow Brady Bacon that much, but he is a, uh, sprint car driver from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, which I would, I happen, I happen to live in Broken Arrow at the time. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And here is a, um, autographed pit, pit crew hat, um, from Casey Kane. Unfortunately, I did not get this autograph myself. I was, uh, I was, uh, came across this on eBay and, uh, I got that off, I bought it off eBay for a pretty decent price considering that it was a, uh, autographed item and here on to my first this is actually a 43rd scale uh, die cast a Dale Earnhardt um, Daytona 500 win which is which was pretty was a pretty neat fun I found that at a vintage stock in Broken Arrow and then here's a one of these weird uh, things that um, Walmart had um, whenever NASCAR Authentics was first getting started. Because you know after the... Because uh, after the winter circle uh, went down, they didn't have anybody to make Walmart diecast anymore until Spin Master came. Now Lionel's taken over the NASCAR Authentics line. Thank goodness. That's for the better. But these were alright. These were pretty cool. Um, I don't... I think some of the stats on these were inaccurate. Like, this one says Joey Logano finished third in this race. It was that race that uh, him and Denny Hamlin made contact. And, uh... And, uh... They were fighting for the win at... Fontana and Kyle Busch was able to sneak by before they uh, collided and, and wrecked, and Kyle Busch took the win. But I think Joey Logano finished sixth. I don't think he was able to squeeze a third place finish out of that. But other than that, I, I thought it was pretty cool. It's the only one I really wanted out of those two sets. Um, the only other ones I remember seeing were a uh, Jeff Gordon and Danica Patrick. From uh, when they qualified on the uh, front row for the 2013 Daytona 500, they and they couldn't even get uh, bother to get Danica Patrick's car right. It had the 2012 body on it. And then I saw the uh, Denny Hamlin and uh, Matt Kenseth from the uh, uh, Dar from the Southern 500 finish at Darlington. From the 2013 season where Kenseth won. Speaking of Matt Kenseth, here's a pretty neat uh, die cast. I managed to find this one for a pretty good price as well. Um, yeah, a lot of these die casts that I'm going to be showing you are um, going to be in the package. I do have a tub full of loose die casts over here though that I'll show you here in just a second. Here's an Adam Petty uh, die cast. Um, was not fortunate enough to get to see him race. He didn't really have a very long career to begin with. Unfortunately, his life was one of those taken um, in a pretty bad time for NASCAR. Uh, 
him and Kenny Irwin Jr. both passed away uh, in the se- same season, the season before Dale Earnhardt was tragically killed in the Daytona 500. So, yeah, this was not a very good stretch of, the, of for NASCAR. Yeah, this is actually one of the ones that was supposed to be in the loose box, but I haven't gotten it taken out yet. But, uh... Anyway, I better quit yapping about stuff. And then here is a uh, Kenny Irwin. Uh, I just mentioned him just a second ago. Kenny Irwin, uh, the Joker. I do not have the Batman car. Um... I was able, uh, I picked this up, one of my friends uh, found a, had some die casts that he'd had, and uh, I bought a few of them off of him, and this is one of them, and uh, he, he held on to the Batman portion of that two, two car set. Um, which was the Dale Jarrett number 88, they ran that in, uh, 1998, I believe, at at uh, Charlotte. And then here's a pretty neat one. Uh, Rick Mast, the number 75 Remington car. Not really sure about the history of this driver or this car, but... Um, um, Remington is obviously a gun company. Which is pretty popular amongst my friends, being an Oklahoma guy. Here's a Casey Kane ho- uh, Holidays car. I was pretty excited when Kyle Busch won the Kansas race, which was pretty neat. I was happy to. I was uh, pretty excited when I found this die cast at Walmart. Jack Sprig. This is probably the smallest car that I have. It's a 144 scale. Ernie Irvin. Yeah, you're also going to see a lot of uh, Texaco Haviland cars in my collection as well. Because I love this car. I love Texaco Haviland number 28. Here's Bobby Labonte. Number 18. I'm also a pretty big Joe Gibbs racing fan, so I love uh, I love almost all the drivers they've had over the seasons that they've been running. And then here's Steve Park. I have um, all the drivers, all the full-time drivers from from this car from each era. Um, at least one car from each era. I have Steve Park, Martin Truex Jr., and J.B. McMurray, which you will see later. Um, but this is... But yeah, the Pennzoil car, and then the McDonald's car, and the Bass Pro Shops car. I have one of each of those. Here's the championship. Kyle Busch. I was really excited whenever he won the championship, especially... Since uh, from the because of the way uh, the way that 2015 started with him getting in that crash, um, that took him out for 11 races. I was pretty excited to see him come come back and win the championship that year. Yeah, there will be a few IndyCar diecast I forgot to mention. Um, this is Will Power 
from his championship year. I was a. Uh, I ordered this online and I was able to pick one up. Willpower is my favorite IndyCar driver. I do have a couple diecast of his. And here's a Kyle Busch 2012 red, white, and blue Eminem's car. I love the the old number 12 from back in the day when uh, mostly, I guess it's because Mayfield drove it. I was kind of a Mayfield fan back in the day. Jeremy Mayfield is always a good driver. It's just unfortunate his, his career ended the way it did. Here's a Dale Earnhardt Sr. Um, Wrangler car. This car was pretty awesome. Here's a Martin Truex Jr. car. I mentioned that I have a uh, for, uh, at least one of each of all three driver eras from that number one car. I also have... Um, one of each, one of each from each era from Martin Truex Jr.'s car career. Uh, this is the only fifty-six car I have, and then I have a Chevy number seventy-eight and a Toyota number seventy-eight of Truex. Congrats to him on winning the championship this year, by the way. And then here's one of my eighty-seventh scale Dale Earnhardt Jr. cars. Here's an Ernie Irvin number four Kodak car, which is pretty neat. I still have that price tag on here. Got this for pretty cheap. And this is the only Kodak car that I have. Here's Austin Dillon. I need to get the. I'm looking well. I, I'm looking forward to getting the the die cast of his 2018 car. Not only is it going to be a Camaro, but the paint scheme is so much better from this one. This is from his second season, I believe. No, this is from 2017. Yeah, this 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 scheme was a whole lot nicer than his rookie uh, scheme that he ran. But the but the scheme that he has for 2018 looks so much better, in my opinion. You're going to see quite a few Jeff Gordon cars in my collection as well. This is the 24 ever um, Jeff Gordon slash Chase Elliott car. Kurt Busch is a recent addition to uh, my favorites. I didn't used to like him, but... Um, whenever he started driving the 78 car, I kind of warmed up to him um, after seeing him come back after um, fighting himself in, after 2011 th and through 2012 and coming back and being in contention again. It was nice to see Kurt Busch come back from all the stuff that he went through. And uh, I was wrong about uh, Kurt Busch. Um, I was, I've always been a Kyle Busch fan, but... Kurt Busch took took a lot longer for him to grow on me, but he eventually did, and I, I like Kurt Busch now. Um, this is the only... I don't have any of his Penske cars, um, but I do have this 97 car, and uh, and I've bought at least one car from his... Uh, from each year that he's been in the 41. And this is... The 2013 Casey Kane Great Clips car. I was really excited to see him drive Great Clips in the Cup Series. Um, mainly starting in 2013. And uh, I, was, I had been waiting for him to get a win at Bristol. And to my delight, he won his first 
Career Cup race at Bristol and the Great Clips car. This car is a little dirty, but here's my Joey Logano, uh, 2009, uh, 24 scale. I bought this from Walmart. This isn't one of those fancy ones. It's about like it's it's like the Casey Kane cars over here. So I'm gonna set that here. Here's Steve Grissom. Basically, I got this car because I like the number 41. 41 is my favorite number, if you haven't been able to tell. I've also kind of grown attached to the numbers 12 and 28 as well. Super excited to see Ryan Blaney in that 12 car next year, but, or this coming season, by the way. Oh, I, I wanted to save this one for, for later, but I'm, I'm already grab, I've already grabbed it, so... This car was one that I looked really, really hard to find and couldn't find one until I found one on Amazon. It's the 2003 Great Clips Ford. It's, it was from the season that uh, before Casey Kane moved up to the Cup Series to drive the 9 car. So this car is very special. I'm, I'm glad I was able to find one that I could afford. There was a couple of them that I found before this one that were uh, charged an arm and a leg because they were autographed but this one I was able to find find for about 10 bucks and I was I'm kind of frugal when it comes to buying die cast because um, I just uh, don't have the money to spend on them a whole lot so I buy them little at a time um, but here is my uh, Dale Earnhardt. Here's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, number 88 National Guard car. This one is uh, whenever uh, it was first announced that Jr. was going to Hendrick, I was pretty excited and I loved the way the car looked. And 88 car still looks pretty good. I'm not big Alex Bowman fans, and, and he's going to be the one driving the 88 next year or this this coming season. And it's eh. It's whatever. He's gonna, he'll be all right. And here's the Kyle Busch Skittles car. Not a big fan of Skittles, but Kyle Busch did get a couple of big wins in the Skittles car. In fact, the only, the only, the only place he's won with the Skittles car is at Indianapolis. Should have got it for the third year in a row, but since he got wrecked out, it was a nice trade-off that Casey Kane won that race. So I wasn't too disappointed after after that and this car my goodness I love the M&M's Krispies and I'm glad that this was the car that he finally broke out and won the championship with so now M&M's Krispies and this car have a special place in my heart Kyle Busch second favorite driver I love that I love I love it I just love it Reed Sorensen this is the only Reed Sorensen car that I have and this is probably one of my favorite cars of his. I love the discount tire. Um, and uh, this car is pretty neat. Here's a Kyle Busch, uh, Bobby Labonte, or no, Del Jarrett. Del Jarrett throwback. From whenever Joe Gibbs Racing first started up. It's pretty neat. Del Jarrett won the Daytona 500 with this paint scheme. And uh, Kyle Busch drove it. He drove it to an 11th place finish, but that's all right. He was more. I think he. I think he contended better in the years when he didn't run a uh, throwback scheme. So here's the 2017 or er, the 2013. Best Buy car for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I was actually got the uh, this and a couple others at Texas in 2013. Whenever I went to the went to the Sprint Cup race there, Jimmy Johnson won that race. That was disappointing, but all in all, it was a fun time, and I got to go watch a race in person. So 
That was pretty neat. Here's a uh, Kenny Irwin Jr. Uh, Haveline Need for Speed. This is probably one of the ones that needs to be retired into my uh, uh, loose diecast box, but I already have one of these in there. So you'll see another one of these here in a minute. And this still has the, the little uh, CD-ROM game in it. Probably don't want to even work anymore, though. Here's a kind of melted down Alex Bowman advanced auto parts car. This, this was given to me by a friend. He said he picked it up and he thought of me. He left it in his car, though, so it's a little bit melted, but it, it's still nice to have. It's a nice car. Um, I've always liked advanced auto parts, the way they look on a car, so... Even though I'm not a big Alex Bowman fan, I still like this. It was really nice of him to give that to me. I didn't get this one until recently. This is a Kyle Busch rookie car. I had to have one of these. So I got it. Go ahead and show this off real quick. It's a Casey Kane stocking. Pretty neat. That's from 2008. I've always liked the Jeff Gordon Pepsi Max car. I do not have a Casey Kane Pepsi car. I need to get one. And then here's a Jeff Gordon Rainbow Warrior car. Tony Stewart. Uh, back when Kevin Harvick's uh, team was still going on. They ran four cars in this race. It was the July Daytona race. Tony Stewart had won in the four, in the four car. Um, early in the spring, in the yeah, the, the spring race at Daytona. But this car was pretty neat. Unfortunately, all... I mean, I wasn't too too sad because I'm not a Kevin Harvick fan at all. But it was kind of sad to see all four of those cars go out. And they all four qualified in the top four positions for that race. So, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of... It kind of sucked. Then here's a 2012 Lionel promotional car. I received this in the mail from one of my uh, NASCAR fan, uh, one of my NASCAR friends. Here's another one that I received from from the same friend. I didn't have it. They asked me if I had this car, and I said I didn't. And they said, "Do not buy that car." So I didn't. And this that's why they wanted to send me one. So that was really nice of them. Here's a Kyle Busch M&M's pretzel. Obviously not a lot of success with that car, except for... I think he got a couple wins with it. I know he got the 2011 Richmond win. I'm honestly not a big fan of this paint scheme, to be honest. I love interstate batteries. I'm glad they're... They still sponsor uh, Kyle Busch and Joe Kipps Racing in general, but I'm just not a big fan of this paint scheme. And I look forward to whenever, uh, hopefully, hopefully this is the year that they decide to change it up, change it back to more of a different style. Because if I'm per perfectly honest, I like um, I like this paint scheme better. Better than the uh, green zebra, but you can't beat the original. the The one that he won Daytona in July with, the uh, one that was on JJ Ailey's car, that one was pretty good too. And here's some more surprises. I have a, a few sprint cars. This is Casey Kane uh, sprint car Mo Mopar. I love Mopar. I love the Mopar paint schemes. So, um, this one was given to me for my birthday from one of my good friends from church. So, um, I was very, 
very happy to get that. 2012 Brad Keselowski Blue Deuce. Couldn't find the uh, I couldn't find a 24 scale version of the Miller Lite version to save my life. Here's Scott Dixon. I believe this was the last or second to last season that he ran with Target as a sponsor. Scott Dixon, I guess technically he's my second favorite um, IndyCar driver. There's good old smoke, Tony Stewart. Here's a Jeff Gordon truck. I don't believe this ever ran. I really don't remember Jeff Gordon ever actually running a truck race. But it's still pretty cool to have nonetheless. Looks a lot like that Jack Sprague truck. Jimmy Johnson Superman. I thought about... So I have the Batman and Superman. I have the Dale Jr. Batman car and this and this car. I thought about making them into my uh, loose die cast, but I chose not to. Here's a Bubba Wallace SpongeBob car. Whenever I first saw this car, I had to have it, even though it wrecked in that in the race that it ran is still a pretty nice addition to have to my collection this is a car that i really was really looking forward to getting never could find it until recently i got it um i have a few of the uh white deuce um uh, you know, Brad, Brad cars, but this is, I think this is the first Miller Lite, aside from the, uh, aside from a 2013 car that I got that actually has Miller Lite on it. Like, and as I said, I don't have any Kurt Busch ones. Yeah, here's that paint scheme again, that one that I, I like a lot better. This is 2012, unfortunately, not Kyle Busch's best season. One of the three years that he missed the chase. But he hasn't... But he hasn't missed the chase since 2012, so that's very, very good. And here's a Casey Kane Shark Week Great Clips Camaro from the uh, Nationwide Xfinity Series. This car was pretty neat. He ran it at Indianapolis, and uh, wish he would have been wish it would have been a better result for him, but a pretty car nonetheless. Here's a uh, another 2008 in the one set 187 form. Here's a Jimmy Johnson car. I think this yeah it's 2003. Casey Kane finished second in Kansas in 2013 with this paint scheme. It was pretty neat. I kind of, I really wanted it in my in my collection, and I was able to get it about a year or so ago. Terry Labonte. I don't think I have a lot of Terry Labonte cars. I might have. Uh, this might be one of two, one or two that I have. But I don't have a lot of Terry. I have a few Bobby, but I think that's the only Terry I have. And here's Dale Earnhardt Jr. AC Delco car. I couldn't not have this in my collection. He was pretty dominant with this paint scheme. Jeff Burton. This is a pretty neat car. I've always I've always liked Jeff Burton. He's a stand-up guy. He's he's always been a stand-up driver. And here's another Kyle Busch in box form, Kyle Busch Championship. 
I love looking at this card. Here's AJ Allmendinger, one of two AJ Allmendinger cars that I have. Wish he didn't get kicked out of that ride. Here's another 2012 Kyle Busch car. He actually won at Richmond in the in that year in this paint scheme. Kyle Busch has yet to go winless, and I hope I hope he doesn't start soon. Because uh, unless you count 2004 when he ran part time, but who counts that? Here's the Casey Kane Rockwell car. Loved it whenever he won the truck race with the same, uh, had the same number as the Red Bull car, same font and everything. Just a Chevy truck for Turner Motorsports. And then he finished eighth with this at Darlington. Uh, the race, which, uh, another race with Jimmy Johnson won. Here's a 2013 Casey Kane. Won at Pocono with this paint scheme. One of the first Dale Earnhardt cars I got. I didn't really start collecting senior cars until recent years. I'm surprised I didn't have any before 2014 or, or 2013 at least. And here's the Casey Kane Junior Motorsports Camaro. I loved seeing this car on the track. Great clips car. Another friend sent me this one. This is from the 2016 Daytona 500. Mr. Hamlin won that race. So it was good. And this was a Toyota car, so this it was pretty neat that Toyota won won that. Here's a silver edition uh, Jeremy Mayfield Mobile One. I love the Mobile One car. I love it. Helio Castroneves. I picked uh, this up at a IndyCar race I went to back in June and I got to see Will Power win that so that was pretty neat unfortunately for Helio and uh, Scott Dixon they their night didn't end too well and here's uh, another rookie car I believe yep Mountain Dew I love this paint scheme I have a couple other Good looking rookie cards from for, for Casey Kane. Here's a 2006 Dickies 500. And Casey looked like he was poised to sweep Texas that year. He won at the spring race, but this is the race where his engine let go and uh, Tony Stewart went on to win that race. Liftmaster. This was a nice car. Liftmaster was a good sponsor for Casey. I don't know if they will be back. And then here's Will Power. He was driving this exact paint scheme at Texas whenever he won. I think he run ran this the whole season. I was more I was more into the black and white, but this isn't too bad. I like I actually kind of like this one too, but I just preferred the black and white. But it was nice to go to Texas and see Will Power win. When the last time I, the last and the first time I went to Texas, I went and Jimmy Johnson won, which was, eh, it was a good experience though. I'm not gonna lie. And then here's a uh, cheap Dale Senior car. Can't have enough of that good wrench. Here's a Tony Stewart. I like Tony Stewart. He's he's a great driver, great person. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Budweiser car. Two thousand nine Daytona five hundred. Kyle Busch. Um, one eighty seven scale. K 
Casey Kane. He ran this car in a couple races and got uh, top fives in both races that he ran. Finished third at... Um, and he finished fourth at Kentucky and third at New Hampshire. He ran this car in the same race Kyle Busch won uh, his 100th NASCAR race in all three series. I'm sure he would have liked to win, but and that would have been awesome, but oh well. And then here's um, Scott Riggs. This is the only car that I have of the Everham 10. I, I really wanted a Everham 10, number 10 car. I'm glad I was able to pick this up because this is one of my favorite movies. Cars is actually a movie that really helped me to get into NASCAR. I mean, I watched it off and on before uh, Cars came out, but this movie kind of helped push me into the NASCAR fandom. My favorite NFL team, represented on a race car, Dale Jarrett, drove this car in 1999, I believe, the Green Bay Packers, I believe this car was owned by Brett Favre, look, remember how much I love the Texaco car, there's a Texaco logo on the back, so that just makes this car an even bigger win. I wasn't a Packers fan at the time. I wasn't really into football back then. Back in 1999, I was just a little kid. But This is a car that I really had to have. I got to watch the race on TV that, um, Dale, Ju that Dale Jr. ran this car in. And uh, I got to watch him win in it, which is really, really awesome. I'm glad that uh, Dale Jr. won. In the number three for one last time. He's this is the last time he was ever going to run the number three. And uh, another thing, Dale Jr. has retired from uh, cup racing. So, and he's he's always he's never been a favorite of mine, but I've always liked Dale Jr. He's he's never really done anything too too bad to make me dislike him. So. I uh, hope Dale Jr. has a good life. Here's a Toy Story 2 uh, two pack. Johnny Benson and Kyle Petty. I'm surprised I remembered that. Here's another. Here's the other Ricky Stenhouse a car I got from uh, Texas in 2013. I like that Zest car. And remember that Best Buy Ricky Stenhouse car I got. Well, here's the Best Buy Matt Kenseth car. He actually won this uh, with this paint scheme in 2012. Daytona 500. That was... I wasn't always a big Matt Kenseth fan, but he he came into my favorites. Um, I used to just dislike him because he drove for Roush. I used to dislike everything Roush, but... Um, after a while, Matt Kenseth kind of grew on me, and uh, I realized that there wasn't really anything wrong with Matt Kenseth. So, and he's really he was really a good guy, and he's retired. He retired this year, sadly, and uh, I really enjoyed watching racing him, er, watching him race. Um, especially whenever he went to Joe Gibbs, he started. I think he won more races with Gibbs than he did with Roush. And then, here's a Brad Keselowski. This is a car that I got from uh, Texas as well. I, don't, I got another Great Clips hat from Texas, but I wore it too much, unfortunately. Well, that was pretty stupid of me. Here's a Jeff Gordon 1985 Pro Debut Sprint Car. This was a neat find. I was really happy to pick that up. Here's another Dale Jr. 187th scale. Austin Dillon, the number three Bass Pro Shops Camaro. We'll see another one of these here in a second. Yeah, something about the number three with the Bass Pro Shop all over it just, just seems right. 
something about that number 78 with the Bass Pro Shops logo all over it seems right too because Truex was a really good uh, spokesperson for Bass Pro before he had to leave uh, DEI and they jumped back as an associate sponsor yeah, with Michael Walter Bracing and now they're back on they're back on his car and here is Casey Kane I got the I don't remember I think a friend sent this to me either that or I send off for it on the internet but it's a really good car um, I mean the great clips card never really changed but I still like it oh I remember when he drove this car the Mountain Dew pitch black I still like pitch black I need to buy some more to drink I haven't really drank any since last year I don't think maybe early this year but um, he finished fourth this was a tough season for him and I'm glad that this paint scheme was a, a signification of the good times that he had last year which wasn't a whole lot but he did finish fourth at Richmond so that was really awesome Red Bull I was so glad he f uh, finished 2011 with a win at Phoenix because um, I love this car this is the number four is in his uh, Casey Kane racing style so uh, I was glad to see him win with this car because I'm sure it was really special to him to win with this number four he runs he still runs that style number four on his sprint cars when he races when he races for himself Jeff Gordon 3M I was surprised to see that they left Biffle in fact if they would have stayed with Roush I'm sure Biffle would still be driving and he'd still have 3M on his car but oh well I don't even think they're I, I don't even remember seeing them last year Here's a 2016 car, which didn't really run until later in, later in the 2016 season. He ran the 75 years Vim and M scheme most, uh, for the first part of that year. I didn't think we were ever going to see this car last year. Or, yeah, in 2016. This is a car that uh, one of my friends sent to me. Thanks, Joseph. So was that Daytona 500 Toyota Casey Kane 2012 Farmers Insurance. This was probably one of the best uh, best sponsors that Casey ever had, and uh, sad to hear whenever they and Great Clips decided not to sponsor him anymore. And then here's Joey Logano's 2012 Dollar General car. Yes, and I'll show you this so you don't try to correct me. Anybody who ever, if anybody watches this video. Richard Petty. Another 43rd scale. I, I wanted, I really wanted a Richard Petty uh, 43 1970 car, and I finally got one. Got that from Vintage Stock. It was, I was very happy to find that. Uh, and you starting, you're going to start seeing more Texaco Havoline, and here's a Dale Jarrett. I had no idea that I was going to be that I was going to like Dale Jarrett's cars so much. Wasn't really a big fan of the '88 UPS car, but it was all right. And here is one of the Star Wars cars. I kind of think it's funny how Jar Jar Binks is on the display side of this car. And here you got Obi Wan and Qui Gon, and you got Darth Maul over here. In my opinion, Darth Maul should have been on the display side, but whatever. Casey Kane's 2006. In his win column, 2006 has been his best year to date. Unfortunately, I wish more more seasons of his could have gone 
about the same. But there's still a chance that he can make something happen with Levine uh, Family Racing. I can't wait to get the die cast for that 95 car, by the way. Another DW car. I can't remember if he won races with this paint scheme or not, but... This was pretty late in the 90s whenever he drove this, so I'm not sure. I have to look look up his stats again. But either way, it's cool to have a, a Daryl Waltrip 17 car. Here's Matt Kenseth, 2006. I just like this car. Um, ever since I stopped dislike, disliking Kenseth, I begin to really appreciate the number 17 car. For the record, I stopped dislike, disliking Matt Kenseth back in like 2009, 2008, 2010, somewhere around there. So I, he was still with Roush whenever I decided to uh, put him in my likes column. My likes column is much, much bigger than it used to be. I only dislike a few, select few drivers. And here is Casey Kane's Unifirst car. Looked like he was going to win the Daytona race, but uh, he got screwed over as usual. But it was really, really good for Stenhouse to win that race, but I really wanted Kane to win. He led a lot of the final final laps of that race in that car, and so overall, not too bad. And here is a the Matt Kenseth Tide car. This car was pretty neat. I was caught by surprise when they announced that Tide was sponsoring him, but not unpleasantly surprised. I need to get one of his Circle K cars. And then here's a Casey Kane Quaker State car from 2012. Sponsor he won his first race with Hendrick with. Here's a 2015 Farmer's car. Not a whole lot to say about that. I know he won the Indianapolis 500 with that same paint scheme, but that wasn't until this past year. Brad Keselowski, 22. I want the 2010 version. The Dodge Challenger was cool looking, but I really like the uh, his 2010 car because that was an actual meaningful year for Brad. Eric Jones. He's going to be in my top four favorite drivers this year. He will be my number three. He will probably move up to number one if and when Casey Kane retires. Um, I just like Eric Jones. He's he's a good young driver, a lot of promise, and uh, looking forward to see what he can do in the twenty car in the Cup Series this coming season. I loved uh, watching him race in the uh, seventy seven car this past season, and uh, actually had a chance to win a, f a few races. Dale Earnhardt, pit crew. Pretty excited to find that. Another Casey Kane rookie car, his standard Dodge dealer's car. And another Coca-Cola Dale Sr. car. Yeah, I'm just making a big old mess on my bed, but I don't care. I like showing. I'm one, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Here's a another. Well, you've already seen one of these. It's 87th scale Casey Kane from 08. Jeff Gordon sprint car. It's from the early 1990s. Actually, 1990. Number four, Diet Pepsi. This was one of the best finds. 
out of my Jeff Gordon cars. Speaking of Jeff Gordon and Pepsi, here's my vending machine with a 2000, I believe it's a 2003 or four uh, Pepsi car. Here's the pep, the front of it. I was looking for a Casey Kane Mountain Dew machine because they actually have it, but everyone is pretty high in price. 2003. I was right. So I have yet to find one of those. This is one of the cars that I was looking to find. I, I like this double mint car. Funny because Kyle Busch ran a double mint car um, in later seasons in the Cup Series. So that was really, really neat to see both, both my top two favorite drivers run for the same sponsor. Mountain Dew. Or, nope, Mountain Dew. McDonald's. This is a car that I really wanted. Um, I wanted to find the COT version because that's the car that he finished second at Bristol with. I really wish he would have won that race, but it's all good. Can't dwell too much on the past. This is a pretty car. Just wish he didn't finish last with it. That was a tough, tough, tough to watch. I couldn't stand it. But it's still a pretty car, so I had to give it credit for at least that. And here is the 2013 Quaker State Casey Kane car. After that, he started driving for the whole Hendrick team switch to Valvoline. 2017, Brickyard 400 winner right here. I want to get the race win version of that. They haven't even come out. They haven't even come out with it yet, so I'll be hopefully looking to get that if I can scrape the money together for that. Kyle Busch Snickers Crisper. These are pretty good. I love the, the Snickers Crispers. I don't even know. I'm not even sure if they're still around, but I like those. They, those, they were pretty good. Got uh, Dale Jr. Batman car. Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, if you ask me the uh, whole Marvel vs. DC. Marvel all the way. Sorry, guys. Uh, Captain America Civil War was a much better movie. This was a nice find. It's a Micro Machines sort of thing. If I would have bought this off eBay, I would have paid like 20 bucks, but I paid 4 bucks for this. I bought this at a uh, sort of antique store. And this is a neat find. It's got uh, Kenny Irwin. Or no. Yeah, Kenny Irwin, number 28. Truck series. And then Kyle Petty. And then a hauler. These little figurines right here. Checker flag guy. Matt Kenseth Lycos. Well, a lot of these are kind of dirty. I need to dust them off. I'm going to go ahead and show these off now. I bought a four pack or a, four, a set of four off eBay. For a pretty decent price. Dave Blaney. Number 93 Amoco. This is the Dodge Viper. Version. The Dodge Ram version. Dodge Daytona version. I sh probably should have taken these out of the box, but you can kind of tell by looking at them. And then the standard NASCAR stock car edition. Yeah, I saw this in uh, one of Ghost Jerker. I don't know if you, if you guys ever saw any of his videos. 
but I still have this car. And it looked really awesome. It actually won one of his uh, elimination style races that he did in his die cast racing. And uh, I thought, that's a nice car to have. It looks really cool. So I ordered it. So shout out to Ghost Jerker for um, making me want to buy this car. Sage Fruit Casey Kane Sprint Car. Another another good find. Mike Skinner, number three, good wrench. The 1995 and debut champion of the truck series. How fitting. Another Kenseth Lycos. I was really excited to get this car. Kurt Busch Mobile One. I don't remember how well he finished in this car. But I didn't care. I wanted it anyway. It's a... I was excited to see Kurt Busch and Mobile One finally team up. And... Yes, Kurt Busch. Driving my favorite number. But I stated that I liked Kurt Busch before he started driving the 41. So... I don't want anybody to think there's a bias there. Dale Earnhardt Bass Pro. One of the coolest cars. And a reason why I say number three in Bass Pro Shops just looks right. Also looks right with Tony Stewart or Truex as well. Ooh, this car. Grail find right here. This is what a lot of people on this uh, Facebook... Um group that I'm on, diecast. I really want the 24 scale version of this, but this is the actual paints, the actual diecast of the skiing Casey Kane one, the 2006 Charlotte fall race. I mean, the, the one that they put out was white. It had white and blue and gray mixed in. For the 2006, and that's not correct. This is, I, I guess, they made some last minute changes, and this just looks so much better than the. Because I think they've just rehashed the 2005 scheme. But this looks so much better, and this is the scheme that he actually won that race with. And I had to have that. And I found a 2009 Casey Kane Budweiser. I've got the, this is one of my mo more recent cars. Figured it'd be nice to have one of these to my collection. Okay, I'm gonna have to move to the floor here. I'm running around the room on my bed. Here's a Jeremy Mayfield. I need to peel these stickers off. Um, one of them, this is a recent addition to my collection as well. This is a uh, Jeremy Mayfield 2006 car. I found found these for a pretty good price. This is one of the two that I bought. I figured I might as well buy both of them because they were pretty cheap. And here, this I like. I really like this paint. Scheme. Yeah, damn it, that stupid sticker. There. But I really like this paint scheme. I know I don't think I've ever seen it before, but it's a really nice. So, and then here's a 2005 Great Clips car. He actually won with this car at Texas in 2005. Jeff Gordon's Star Wars, Episode 3. Say what you want about the Star Wars prequels, but I like them. I don't care. It's freaking Star Wars. I don't really care. And here's an actual race win die cast. These are really rare, really rare for me to in my collection. I don't think I have any winner circle race wins. But this is the Casey Kane's first career next Tail Cup series win. 2005 at Richmond. And here's another Austin Dillon car. One of my more recent ones.
Now this is not NASCAR. This is an Indy car. This isn't Sprint cars, but this is so awesome. I found this at Walmart. You probably seen you probably have seen this brand at stores if you do a lot of die cast shopping. But this is a if the general Lee, if the general Lee from Dukes of Hazard looked like this, it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all, to be honest. This car is amazing. And I just love the I just love the 69 Charger Daytona Hemi and the 70 Superbird style cars. And I just had to had to show this off. I had to buy this whenever I saw it. It was a I couldn't pass this up. This just looks awesome. I'm a big fan of this car. And that just kind of did it for me there. This was a neat find, I'm not going to lie. And I got this for practically a dollar, pretty much. And I was really excited to find this, because I've been wanting one of these forever. And like last year or so, I finally found it. It's a uh, muscle, NASCAR muscle car. Pretty neat. I want to get the Mopar version. They have the uh, 24 scale version on eBay. And if I ever get some extra money, I might get that too. Because it's a Mopar. I love me some Mopar. Kyle Larson, Michigan win. I expect to see some more um, Michigan or some more um, race win die cast in these uh, Nat Lionel NASCAR Authentics lines. And then here's the 2017 Kyle Busch. Now this was... They kind of did the opposite of what they did in 2016. But he didn't start winning until they switched to the M&M's Caramel car. So... But I still like the, the standard Kyle Busch paint schemes. Oh, speaking of this, speaking of like that Casey Kane car. This was a really awesome find. It is a Ford. It's like it's an actual Ford car. Not sure. Can't tell if I can't remember if it was the Ford Thunderbird or what. I don't really know my Fords very well. But uh Oh, Ford Fairline Victoria. It says so in the card right here. 1956. So, but, man, I love this. Ha I love the Texaco Havoline car. I've stated that several times already, but I don't care. Oh, I had to get this. The Jurassic Park Jeff Gordon car. Those Jurassic Park movies are awesome. Here's the Casey Kane 2017 Darlington car. Great clips. Those Darlington throwback cars are pretty neat. Here's a Jeremy Mayfield motorcycle. I didn't care for the Mobile One number 12 when Newman drove it, unfortunately. I think I used to like Newman back in the day, but whenever he uh, started driving for Stuart Haas, he kind of turned into this road hazard, and I can't I can't stand him anymore. But I love this. This is, uh, this is going to be the same scheme that Eric Jones is going to run next year. A lot of people are a little upset about that, but I think it's a good way to show some respect to Matt Kenseth. If anything else, just so they don't have to change the paint scheme. But I like this, uh, I like this car especially. I need to get the uh, final start cars for Kenseth and uh, Dell Jr. Because they ran their rookie paint schemes from 2000 in, uh, in the 
in the homestead race the uh, last month, so um, I need to get those, add those to my collection. And then here's a neat uh, 2008 Casey Kane that actually has Budweiser on it. Two car set and a magnet. I actually opened it and took them out for a little bit. I shouldn't have done it, but the package is kind of messed up. So some of the stuff won't be worth as much if I decide to sell it, which I probably won't. This, my friend from church, man, he, he's given me a lot of neat stuff, and this is one of them. He actually ordered this for me. It's a Casey Kane bobblehead from the Valvoline. Casey, back in there. I need to uh, set that out, actually. It's a neat. There's some more Casey Kane stuff. Here's the Mountain Dew can. Now, this is kind of like the Jeff Gordon vending machine. And honestly, the, the Mountain Dew car that's in here looks a lot better than the uh, Mountain Dew car you saw earlier, in my opinion. But I still like both of I still like both Mountain Dew paint schemes. I just think that this one's better. It just looks just looks a whole lot prettier. And uh, this paint this Mountain Dew can is just pretty freaking cool. He ran this paint scheme in two thousand five. Two thousand thirteen hauler. for Casey Kane. <sighs> and here we're... Well, I'll show you this other hauler real quick. The 2009 Casey Kane hauler. I love the Dodge. Dodge is awesome. I miss you, Dodge. Come back to NASCAR. And then here is my... I actually got, got this off that Facebook group. Some of these cars I got off that Facebook group that I mentioned. Um, this... I really wanted this car. I got it in the 24 scale. First, I believe, yeah, I've got this first, and then I've got the uh, 64 scale version, plus the uh, double mint version from uh, 64 scale from another guy on that group. So yeah, that Facebook group, it's done me good. It's got me some stuff that I didn't think I was ever going to be able to find, and they got a good deal on this one. Now this is one of the ones that I have that doesn't have a box, but I love this car. It's a it's a nice looking car. Matt Kenseth, number seventeen, Dewalt. Yeah, ever since I uh, started liking Matt Kenseth, the Dewalt cars just looked so awesome. Don't know, I really don't. I really don't miss the days when I used to dislike Kenseth because Kenseth is a good driver. He wins races. Good person. So, yeah, I was just a just a kid, just a stupid kid back then. But a lot of the drivers I used to dislike, I don't dislike anymore. Some of them I still do. Some of them I used to like and now I don't like. Like Newman. Casey Kane. It's a uh, ornament. But it's pretty neat. This one was given to me. I was given two. Um, one to keep and one to drink. I drank it. I've drank in several of these since they came out. But um, my friend from church he gave me this. It 
Mr. Ryan. He's 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 a really good guy. And uh, Coca-Cola Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Senior bottle. This one was this was given to me from somebody who I used to go to church with, an older guy. He liked collecting sports stuff, and he knew I liked NASCAR. Um, he is uh, he was a really nice guy. Gave me some pretty neat stuff. And then here's an 88 Texaco Haviland car, which is uh, Ernie Irvin. While Dale Jarrett was subbing for him, he stayed in the 28 car whenever Ernie Irvin was able to come back later that season after getting injured. And uh, he stayed in the 28, and, Irvi, and Ernie Irvin came back and he drove a second Haviland car. And... Uh, Yates Racing liked uh, Dale Jarrett so much that they brought him back, and they switched back and they switched numbers for the next season in 1996. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that they had two Haviland cars on the track. And that's not the only time either. Whenever Montoya made his uh, Cup debut, he ran a number 30 Texaco car. This is basically Ernie Irvin's 1996 car. It looks just like this, but I mean, it's it's exactly like set up like that. But it's I'm not gonna bother taking that one out of the box. But you can kind of imagine what it looks like. It's got a base just like that and everything. Only it says 1996 there. And my brother found this. Uh, coin bank at a uh, flea market and he got a <laughs> he learned how to barter got this for me my brother brother can be pretty cool whenever he wants to be I'm not gonna lie he got that coin bank for me it's it's a pretty neat little thing oh here we go <laughs> we're about to Oh wait, no, no, we're not. We're not about to wrap up just just yet. I do have three more twenty-four scales to show you, and then a um, a tub full of uh, loose race cars. But here is Casey Kane's two thousand thirteen Bristol win. I bought this. Because I had to have this car. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite uh, NASCAR races of all time. You can argue if it was kind of boring or whatever, but the result is what matters to me. And uh, this is one of my favorite Casey Kane sponsors. Great clips. Probably my favorite Casey Kane sponsor ever, aside from Mopar. So seeing this car in victory lane in the Cup Series at, at Bristol was really awesome. I, I, I wanted Casey Kane to win at Bristol for a long time and thankfully he was able to pull it off. Here is an Austin Dillon Kentucky win from 2012. Uh, this is his first of two Nationwide Series wins. He actually swept Kentucky. And finished pretty high in the uh, championship standings that year. Won the championship the next year with zero wins. But this car was really awesome. Very happy to see Austin get that win. And I think both times he had to fight off Kurt Busch in that 54 monster car. And then here's the last of my 64 scales. The Atlanta win. 
got this for a pretty good deal off that Facebook group. My goodness, this thing is just gorgeous. This paint scheme, it looks a lot better than the paint scheme that he had from 2015 through 2017. This was a pretty rough year for him, too. And I, I'll give you my honest opinion about Casey Kane and Hendrick Motorsports in another video, but um, personally, I'm glad that he's not at Hendrick anymore. Going to miss all these great sponsors that he had, but hopefully the 95 car will be good for him. But man, this win, I got to see this win live on TV. This is one of the only... I think I've only seen Casey Kane win three races on live TV. 2008 All-Star Race, 2008 Coke 600, and this. The uh, Go Bowling 400 at Atlanta. So I really want Casey, I really hope Casey gets back to his winning ways here pretty soon. Because I miss, I miss celebrating Casey Kane wins. Okay. Now we're going to take this. Quickly go through this. I'm getting kind of tired. Start out with this Richard Petty uh, 43 scale. Here's Jimmy Spencer. Uh, number 23, No Bull Racing. Uh, not really sure who this is. I bought this just because I know the name says, says, says a name right there, Jay Fogelman. Not really sure what this is from, though. Here's uh, Jerry, an uh, early Jerry Nadu car. I think this is a Jeff Green. Jeff Green car. Casey Atwood. I was looking forward to getting this car too. Much like that Kurt Busch car. It re reminiscent of the old number 12 cars. Uh, that Mobile One sponsored for Penske. And I... I wish the uh, the wings had been on both, had been on all the Stuart Oz cars this year. That would have made it look awesome. But these look okay. These look good. I like uh, I like this uh, Clint Boyer car. I thought it was really weird whenever they announced Stuart Haas was switching to Ford. Here's that 2014 car again. Atlanta. Two thousand fifteen or two thousand sixteen, Casey Kane. It's a me, Mario. And here's a quick and loans from a bonus wave of uh, Lionel NASCAR Authentics. And speaking of that, Jeremy. Uh, speaking of Mobile One cars, here's Jeremy Mayfield again. Kurt Busch, a lot less uh, beaten and banging version of the Daytona 500 win, I guess you could say, like the pre pre race Daytona 500 win, I guess if you want to call it that. That was pretty much the only highlight of Kurt Busch's season, unfortunately. Kurt Busch is probably my favorite of the Stuart Haas drivers, which isn't really saying a whole lot because I don't really. Out. Clint Boyer's okay. Don't I'm, I can't stand Kevin Harvick. Danica was just there. Now they got Eric Almarola coming on in that tank car. And not a big fan of Aaron Almarola either. And here's a Ryan Blaney. Need to. I'm looking forward to buying more of his cars whenever he starts driving the twelve. Here's a Denny Hamlin. 
one of these spin master cars doesn't they don't look near as good as the Lionel cars but I'm glad they put something out whenever they did because I was getting tired of not getting NASCAR diecasts here's Ryan Newman probably the only Newman car I have probably the only Newman car I ever will get Other than a uh, Hot Wheels Danica Patrick, this is the only Danica Patrick car I have, and probably the only one I ever will get. Kevin Harvick. Not much to say about that. I just don't like Kevin Harvick. Joey Logano. Liked him better when he was with Gibbs, but I still like him as a Penske driver. Him and Brad have good team chemistry and uh, can't wait to see how well they work with Laney. This is something I bought. bought this at Donnie Schatz's uh, uh, ha merchandise hauler at the Chili Bowl. Didn't have a lot of money and I kind of wanted to get something that resembled a sprint car from that and uh, I got this. It's not nothing like super spectacular, but it's pretty cool to have a wooden sprint car. Kyle Larson. Another sweet Kins of Dewalt car. Chase Elliott, Napa No Har Napa No How. I didn't really, I didn't want to like Chase Elliott at first, for a few reasons, but, um, I mean, he's, he's, oh, he's an alright driver. He's not the spectacular driver that everybody says that he is, or think, or wants him to be, but he's an, he's an alright driver. He's a good driver, and he'll win races eventually. I still wish he would have won an F24 car. That would have been good, but, and here's, uh. Jeffrey Earnhardt, probably the only Jeffrey Earnhardt car I have and ever will get. Trevor Payne, not really a big fan of his. I, I, it was nice to see him win the Daytona 500 with the Wood Brothers, but not a big Trevor Payne fan. Tony Stewart, Rush Truck Centers. That still sponsors him and the sprint cars that he runs. Kyle Busch Snickers. This is a nice paint scheme. I still I still think my favorite Snickers paint scheme is uh, either the peanut butter square or the original uh, Kyle Busch Snickers car that he ran in 08 and 09. And I believe he ran it in, yeah, he ran it in 2010 as well. Here's the Joey Logano. Uh, discount tire. Dale Jr. 88. Nationwide. Oops. Nationwide. Kurt Busch 2015. AJ Allmendinger. One of the uh, two cars that I have for him. And I believe that, yeah, this is the same, this is the paint scheme he won Watkins Glen with in 2014. I was cheering for him. It was him, it was him and Marcos Ambrose, and Ambrose already had two wins at that track, and they were both at that track, so I was like, I gotta pull for AJ. I mean, he hasn't won a race yet. I wanted him to win, and he did. He beat Ambrose. And then here's uh, Chase Elliott's championship season in the Xfinity series. That's basically what his car his cup car is gonna look like. Just gonna have a lot more white on it. And here's Jimmy Johnson. Not a big fan of seven time, to be honest. Getting um 
I know it's kind of cliche to say it, but I don't care. I'm tired of Jimmy Johnson winning. Casey Atwood's number 27. Another crappy Harvick. And that was in a Ford. Probably my least favorite manufacturer, so... Uh, at least he's not stinking up Chevy no more. Okay, I better stop before I make some Harvick fans mad. Tony Stewart, championship season, mobile one. Kurt Busch, 2014. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Amp. Relaunch. It, it's obviously a orange flavored drink, which makes it an obvious win for me because orange is my, one of my favorite flavors. For a drink. Bubba Wallace. One of two Bubba Wallace cars that I have. Speaking of Bubba Wallace, I know a lot of you probably already know this, but he's going to be in the 43 next year, this coming season, so that's going to be awesome. Matt Kenseth. Cole Custer. Austin Dillon. Johnny Sauter. This came with the uh, NASCAR 14 game. Truex car. Bill Elliott. Brad Keselowski. I'm glad I finally found a Brad Kozlowski that actually has the real sponsor on it. Jamie McMurray. The only Jamie McMurray car I have. Yeah, sadly, I don't have, as much as I like Havilene, I don't have any of his Havilene cars. Austin Dillon. I like his Cheerios cars. They're pretty neat. Jeremy Mayfield pitch black. Hmm, I just saw a pitch black car not too long ago. But for Casey Kane. And here's an 87th scale 2006 Casey Kane. Another Need for Speed Haviland. 2015 Hamlin. Probably a 2016 Kurt Busch. Davy Allison. I need to get a better Davy Allison car. This is the only Davy Allison car that I have right now. It's not very good, but at least it's something for now. And I. <laughs> Don't have a lot of Carl Edwards stuff. I'm never, never was a big fan of Edwards, even when he drove for Gibbs. But uh, here's Carl Edwards. Another Jimmy Johnson car. I believe this was 2008. Mark Martin. Mark Martin. Those are the only Mark Martin cars I have. Casey Kane. I've already seen plenty of that. That pink scheme in this collection already. Jeff Burton. Mr. Elliot Sadler. Sadler. 
car liquids. Casey Kane Mopar. Martin Truex Jr. Most dominating win of his career came with this paint scheme in the Coca Cola 600. That was pretty crazy. Bill Elliott. I actually have a Bill Elliott car. And it's a McDonald's car. So that's a. That's pretty neat. Tony Stewart. David Reagan. Blech. I like this car though. I, I do like this car. I like this paint job. It was much better than Carl Edwards' uh, UPS car whenever they sponsored him. Black Jeremy Mayfield paint scheme. This paint scheme looks pretty neat. Two thousand nine Casey Kane one eighty seven scale. I actually have this one out of the box. Here's one I never thought I'd have. Two thousand ten Casey Kane Ford. Here's a two, uh, Chase Elliott Kelly Blue Book. Meh. Pretty car. Tony Stewart Old Spice. Joey Logano. Brian Vickers. The only Brian Vickers car I have. Not a, I'm not a Brian Vickers fan at all. So, I'll just say that right now. Jeff Gordon. Another Truex car. Here's a custom Kyle Busch car that I had made. Rowdy Noss. I wasn't going to get this car any other way, so... $17 from Top Shelf Diecast. Well, well worth it to get this car. It looks really good. I need to put that out on display. Five-layer energy. Kurt or Clint Boyer. This is the only Clint Boyer car I have. Here's another Dale Jr. amp car. You've seen enough of that. Sam Hornish Jr. Tony Stewart. From the only year he ran a Toyota. And I and no, I don't have any Tony Stewart Pontiacs. Danny Hamlin. And here's Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards' uh, throwback car from 2016. It was really weird how he just decided to up and leave. Jeff Gordon. This one's a little beaten up. Ricky Rudd, Haveline Muppets. Two thousand seven Kyle Bush. Severely beaten up Jeff Gordon Pepsi car. Don't even have the wing on it anymore. <laughs> Two 
Here's a Joey Logano. Two thousand nine Casey King. Almost done. Denny Hamlin. I love these Havilene cars. Here's a Jimmy Spencer car. Been wanting a, a Jimmy Spencer forty one for a while. I need to get the seven car that he drove. And the seven car that Casey Atwood drove, too. Number 12, Jeremy Mayfield. Kentucky Derby. Jimmy Johnson car. Bobby Labonte. Really looking forward to buying the Bubba Wallace cars when they come out. I don't have any AJ Allmendinger 43s, and I definitely don't have any of the, uh, the, uh, And I definitely don't have any of the uh, Eric Amarola 43 cars. And then another cruddy Spin Master car that I bought so that way I could have a loose 2012 Casey King. And then 2008 Kyle Busch car. Now I have a... a now, I, I, I know I said there's probably a few cars that I don't have with me right now, and I do. I remember I, uh, somebody may, uh, got me a Casey Kane um, Pokemon Go car. Um, it was a Great Clips car that um, Top Shelf Diecast designed and made, and I have it somewhere. I just did not get to grab it for this video, so I'll have to do a review of that one whenever I get it all together. But yep, this is my collection. I can't believe this video took me almost two hours to do. But um, yeah, that's all the collection that I have with me right now. And... Uh, get another uh, bird's eye view of the uh, loose collect the loose ones Again. yep so that's at least a good 90 good 98 percent of my collection I'm pretty sure I probably have a few more that I haven't brought over here yet but once I get the rest of them I will make a special video just for the ones that I that, that I left out but yep that's pretty much it that is my collection and uh, thank you for joining me and uh, see you later